my name is Andy O'Brill. I am group leader of the London Fungus Group and also leader of Fungi to Be With, a more public based group. I uh, do forays and workshops, etc. I also have carried out numerous surveys for the Royal Parks and other governing bodies over the past 15 years or so. These include most of the Royal Parks, but more recently I've been surveying um, the environs of Heathrow Airport. And during that, during this time at Heathrow, I found a um, species new to science and um, it's a member of the Cortinarius family and um, I named it after my wife, lucky lady. Um, I'm also um, fungi man for the London Natural History Society. So I report in every year to them about the fungi dur during particular years and write little pieces for their journal. And I'm also moderator administ administrator for the um, British Mycological Society Facebook page. So I've been involved with fungi now for over 25 years. Um, and I don't, I don't have a particular group or genus that I specialize in, but I do have my favorites. One of which is Rushula. Um, as it's a fascinating group, it's, it's a colorful group. It's a group that um, is, all members of the group are mycorrhizal, which is symbiotic with various trees. So they have a symbiotic relationship with various trees. And the good thing about Rushula is they, they start occurring um, fairly early in the year for mycorrhizal fungi. Um, uh, in st as early as May, sometimes April if you're very lucky, depending on conditions. Um, they are a challenging group because they're very, they're quite variable. The uh, colours are are um, incredibly challenging. Some of them, um, if not all of them. So that's a group that I'm particularly drawn to. Um, this is no doubt. Um, due to the influence of fellow mycologist um, Jeffrey Kibbe, with whom I've had a close association for the past um, 25 years, so it's probably come around, come about because of that, and and um, also Mario Tortelli also has a close relationship with Rushula and and, and us. Um, so, but I, I don't draw the line at Rushula. Um, I, I, I'm, whenever I go for a walk looking for fungi, whatever, whatever attracts my eye, I don't exclude anything. I will, um, I will tune in to things, um, photograph them, collect them, be they guild fungi or fungi with pores, be they polypores, brackets. I'm, I'm interested in them all and I will try to get them to um, species if possible. And this is, this is demonstrated quite clearly by the number of books you can see behind me. Um, a, lot of it, a lot of them across many different genre. Um, so that I've got, try to cover all bases. Um, whilst I'm, whilst I, whatever I bring back, I can hopefully, I can find it in, in one of the many books behind me. Um, and it's fun, you know, it's, it's detective, it's like a detective work. It's, you know, get, you got your specimen, you, you get all your details, write down all your details, or when you get back, while you're all, um, you're, you've got it fresh in your memory, basically, um, because it will go, so you need to write things down straight away um, and then start to look further into it um, under the microscope, etc. Look at the microscopy details. If you've got a microscope, it's in, in important to do that. Um, and then hopefully you, you'll find your species. So I'm, I'm in no way um, completely limited to one particular genus. I like to 
spread myself thinly. Um, before I go now, nice chatting, but before I go, I'll just show you one that I found this morning, and this is Rushula in Cygnus. Rather bland looking thing, brown, gray color. Um, no particular smell, smells important with fungi. Taste is important with fungi, but you must spit it out. Um, especially important with Rushulas because they are mild or hot. The thing about this species is that it has a yellow foot and that yellow foot, when KOH is applied to it, one of the many chemicals we may use in helping, with us, helping us identify fungi, it will go bright red. So there you go, imparting little information. All right, have a good day and I hope this has been useful. Bye for now.